The food's so oh, fresh that I can just eat it off. <laughs> Disgusting! Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily! For Wednesday, it's the ultimate hump day. Choose your fighter. No! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Smash fans, let's talk about Smash Ultimate and its future. Because maybe we're looking at the last Smash game. Uh oh. Say it ain't so. I don't know. Where else can I live my fantasy of swallowing Link whole and stealing his hat? That's a joke for you Kirby heads out there. Shouts out. And isn't he all head if we're being honest? Also, you vor, <laughs> you vor maniacs out there. You know. It is no secret that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has been a smash. Do you get it? Hit for Nintendo, right, Zach? Yeah, I mean the franchise has always been popular. Yeah. Smash Ultimate sold almost 18 million copies by the end of last year, oh. making it the best-selling fighting game of all time. Mm, damn. Yeah, it truly is the ultimate Smash, the definitive Smash, the one that is literally every fighter that's ever been in the game. Melee holds a pretty special place in our childhoods, but even the thick fog of nostalgia doesn't gloss over the top-tier addition to the series that Ultimate's been. But will the latest installment of the Smash franchise be the last one? <laughs> Oh no, I can I can let you can tell you. Okay. Series boss Masahiro Sakurai kinda made it sound that way in recent comments. Zach, exactly. tell tell us what our favorite little workaholic friend had to say. Yeah, well He's uh, actually six this... foot five. No, he's... Yeah, he is. He's actually incredibly That's tall. that's what I'm gonna do now. Mr. Sakurai is very tall. So this is coming from Japanese magazine Famitsu, where Sakurai has a weekly column, which is kind of adorable. Nay, it's super adorable. Love oh. your best life, Sakurai. That's where he talked about the future of the franchise, as well as the second round of DLC that he's currently working on. What we learned is that according to a translation from Twitter user Push Dustin, thank you for your service, Push Dustin. All by, by the way, a huge fan of that profile pic. I think it's uh, a capital I. <laughs> I think it's Push Dust in. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, this, I know, guy. this changes everything. For the DLC, we know that they're working on the second Fighter's Pass, and Sakurai I said it will include six new fighters. That's one more fighter than we got in the first fighter's pass, so that's, I mean, it's value. This is the same feeling I get from shopping at Costco. I don't need six boxes of Cheez-Its, but I'm not gonna say no to that. I Who would. A lot of weight freshman year of college because I was just playing video games and mainlining protein bars from Costco. <laughs> <laughs> it's I know. just huge. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> can't hold the controller. I, I just sat in my dorm and played Assassin's Creed and, and Halo ODST, and I was like, <laughs> you have to hold two controllers. To the maps. I, I didn't. I only showed it in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair though, the second pass is also $30 compared to $25 for the first one, so they're still charging you five bucks a character because Nintendo never, ever discounts anything. Wait, wait, so you mean those those bulk Cheez-Its aren't bundled at a discount? <laughs> No. The money I've wasted over the years! Sakurai also reiterated that Nintendo is picking the fighters for the DLC, not him, which is basically <laughs> code for, please don't complain to me if we had yet another Fire Emblem character. For God's sake, leave me alone. Instead, you can complain directly to us at these sexy anime boys are making me quest for my sexuality.com. Yeah, I just got America Online. Sounds great. Listen, I can't go to the game today. Yeah, a lot of people were not pleased with the recent addition of Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses to the roster. There were already plenty of Fire Emblem characters in the game, and some people were expecting, I don't know, something Minecraft different? Minecraft Steve, Master Chief, uh, Doom Guy, Ellen DeGeneres. Well, after yesterday's announcement, I'm kind of holding out for a Cooking Mama fighter. Like, I would do almost anything to hear her catchphrases ring over a bloody battlefield, like, as she throws a onion dicer at your head. One time uh, a knife went through here and came out here. I have a weird scar. So Zach, tell us about this fire emblem problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, too many fire emblemers is a, is a valid concern. There's already a plethora of sword fighters in the game, so we've definitely hit a saturation point when it comes to anime characters swinging pointy things. I mean, maybe Sakurai is trying to warn us ahead of time, so, you know, he's saying don't expect Cooking Mama. Eh, I don't know. No, I, just, just, it's just okay, it's gonna be take okay. me home. <laughs> okay, no, 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 get out. Or maybe a Gen 8 Pokemon. I mean, that would make a lot of sense considering that Sword and Shield are now out. I'd be very okay with a Gigantamax Pikachu popping his fat ass in there. Pee. <laughs> Pee. 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 Or even a cute but deadly Wooloo. He looks friendly, but there's blood in the water. Then Sakurai dropped a little mini bomb saying that he and Nintendo aren't planning any future entries in the Smash series right now. <laughs> Uh -huh. he, he does not know what will happen going forward. How do you not know? Sakurai, who's a well-known workaholic, also said that when he's working on Smash Ultimate, it is impossible for him to work on anything else. And the translator said, it's coming to a point where Sakurai won't be able to direct any new game idea. We're never gonna get that subspace Smash. emissary spinoff. I like Sorry. that campaign. I do too. I, I really enjoyed Brawl. It's fun. Game development is very f 
<laughs> hard. It seems difficult. So maybe he's alluding to a desire to finally work on something else? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. He's been working on Smash Ultimate for years now. He even said himself that there's no way any hypothetical future Smash titles would have as many fighters as Ultimate, calling it the ultimate collaboration. So he very well could have, you know, just blown his load on, on Ultimate and uh, leave everybody disappointed. And if he did, it would have taken a while to reach the ground because he's so tall. I hate when I blow my load and I'm so tall. It takes a solid <laughs> one minute to reach the ground. And it okay. goes into orbit instead of... <laughs> it's like one of those, those water features where it's like... Poof. Sakurai also has an interesting reputation for how he approaches sequels, starting all the way back with the Kirby series that he brought to life. My favorite series as a boy is <gasps> just sucking face. This interpretation has been questioned, but Sakurai had some things to say after leaving HAL Laboratory in 2003. It's been debated that he felt pressured by HAL to sequelize the Kirby games due to what was translated from an interview with Nintendo Dream, stating, It was tough for me to see that every time I made a new game, people automatically assumed that a sequel was coming. Even if it's a sequel, lots of people have to give their all to make a game, but some people think the sequel process happens naturally. However, there's been a lot of speculation on the other side that it was a larger criticism of the games industry and not a direct comment on how he feels about making sequels. Now, this is a really long and interesting breakdown by a Reddit user, EvanD0, which is linked below in our sources if you want to read into it further. According to the translation, this time around, though, Sakurai is okay with not being able to focus on anything, and he said he wants to keep working to make other people happy. Yeah, I mean, he also said that he plans to give it his all for the last six fighters and added that there's no more DLC plans after this second Fighters Pass. So mm. when it comes to like, what should we make of all this? I mean, it's like, is Smash completely done as a franchise? Should we smash that panic button? Honestly though, like really to defuse the situation here, we really do think we should back away from that button because while it's not out of the realm of possibility, it does seem kind of un unlikely. I very much doubt that it would actually be the very last Smash game. Smash Ultimate is second only to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when it comes to the best-selling Switch games of all time. It's even outsold Super Mario Odyssey and Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a cornerstone franchise for Nintendo. <laughs> I oh, love yeah. cooking pasta in Breath of the Wild. The amount of cutscenes you have to sit through to cook. <laughs> I like it when I put like six Dorian's, a hot pepper, and some rice in there, and it makes a dubious dubious. And I'm like, money fake, it needs to come out the perfect though. Uh, oh, I have to go climb really slowly up a mountain. <laughs> I sure hope it doesn't rain. So it is hard to imagine that Nintendo would just quit making Smash games. It has been a defining franchise for years and years, but maybe Sakurai himself is just done making them, at least for right now. Another likely explanation is that Nintendo wants to stick with the Switch for a long, time, and therefore there's no need to rush out another Smash game in the next four years or so, the way they did with Smash Ultimate and the fourth installment of the game on 3DS and Wii U. Mm -hmm. In yeah. our opinion, which means Autumns, so please don't get pissed at us, Sonic <laughs> fans. Actually, do you want to say it? You're on camera. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, the gap between Smash Ultimate and the fourth installment was way too small. Uh, oh. So I'm cool with letting this one breathe for a bit. So wow. all the DLC added to it. Yeah, add Rough underscore Roughhouse hey, with your taste. I'll open my DMs. Yeah, the Switch has been selling like gangbusters. Last month they announced that it had sold more than 52 million units, and many believe that it has now outsold the Xbox One. It's hard to know for sure, because Microsoft stopped releasing the Xbox One sales numbers a long time ago. Regardless, the Switch is a hit, so it makes sense that Nintendo would want to stick with it, right, Zach? Yeah, they've already released the smaller, more portable Switch Lite, if anyone else is freaking out about the pink Switch Lite. Mm. Ooh, Ooh, cute. Big announcement. Like uh, yeah. Kirby! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, there's also talk of a more powerful Switch Pro model that's coming in the future, although Nintendo has actually yet to officially confirm that, but mm. I mean, you can read some tea leaves, can't we? I'd actually be pretty excited about that, honestly. Yeah, That absolutely. sounds cool, if it's still handheld. So it's probably more likely that the Smash franchise and Sakurai are taking a much-deserved break. According to another translation from WCCF Tech, Sakurai said that the series' future is still uncertain, as both he and Nintendo don't have any plan in place as of now. But Sakurai mentioned how this doesn't mean that the series is done. It's pretty hard to think that they'd just quit making more Smash games, especially with Ultimate very much breathing new life into the franchise. Mm -hmm. so, meanwhile, Ultimate still has a ways to go with all this DLC coming up. Yeah, all this DLC has definitely helped to keep the game fresh, especially the way that they've slowly dripped out the new fighters, like just one at a time. The steady stream of new fighters also keeps the game in the news, building up anticipation for each new character, although we've seen with Byleth that's can kind of, it's gotta backfire if the character isn't really someone that people want. It's safe to say that there's going to be a lot of expectation around the 11th fighter in the final DLC whenever they're unveiled. Failed. And while we're on the subject of Smash, let's talk about how one of the game's leading players recently called out Nintendo for not supporting the competitive scene enough. Yeah, Juan Hungrybox to Biedma recently won the Smash Summit 9 tournament, and he asked Nintendo to do more to support tournaments. If anyone from Nintendo corporate is watching this right now, mm. if anyone's seeing the amount of excitement these sets can get, just give Melee a chance. Even if it's just Ultimate, support the Ultimate scene 
support the Smash scene in general. I mean, Nintendo doesn't really support Smash in the same way that other companies support competitive games, and Sakurai himself has been famously pretty, pretty meh when it comes to esports. He said in the past that competing for prize money goes against the whole Nintendo philosophy. He also said that he doesn't focus on professional players when designing a new Smash game because he doesn't want to alienate more casual players, so... In the meantime, let's just unreasonably build up our expectations for the last six fighters in Ultimate, and then uh, flip out when they're not exactly what we want. Sound good, everyone? Yeah. Sound good? Yeah, Sound good? Into it. Sound good? Good work, everyone. Yeah, one of these. <laughs> Ow. Oh, no, 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 I'm stuck. Oh, oh. I'm stuck on the table. Hot news about the latest DLC fighter for Smash Ultimate, right, Otto? Yes, Connor. It's the last installment of the Fighters Pass, so there was a lot of expectation around this morning's announcement. Fans around the world stirred in their beds every hour, unable to sleep with the carousel dreams of the possibilities. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 <laughs>